name is Kelly Yates and I'm an illustrator by nature and uh, I work on Doctor Who comic book. Well, I'm classic American story, uh, basically watching Doctor Who since Tom Baker years on the uh, local PBS station. And, uh, you know, when I found out IDW was putting out the Doctor Who stuff, I was just like, well, I got to do that. And uh, so I went and talked to the editor and uh, I've been working on Doctor Who off and on for the past three or four years. You know, I, I was actually on a round trip, uh, or a trip around the United States with my grandparents one summer and we ended up at Yellowstone National Park and uh, lo and behold they had no TVs in the whole entire lodge so I went up down to the gift shop and they had a couple of uh, X-Men and uh, Price Star comic books I ended up picking them up and I was like 12 years old and I started reading comic books ever since so that's kind of my thing uh, my understanding is, is that the first stuff I worked on Doctor Who the Forgotten a uh, six issue miniseries written by Tony Lee um, is officially canon and that actually involved all the doctors at the time all up through the 10th doctor a uh, complete storyline it went through each doctor and they all kind of appeared together in the last issue uh, and BBC said this will never happen again but it is official canon so so I, but the other stuff I think they try to keep pretty independent which I understand that so you know kind of keep it separate from the show uh, but the forgotten was canon so uh, I think for the most part the, the comic books uh, are all new characters um, for the most part, I mean, you have some, I think, you know, you can't use the Cybermen or the Daleks because they're uh, copyrighted by somebody up by Terry Nation. So that's completely separate. But I think there have been visits by the occasional uh, Centaurans and stuff like that for ongoing. Um, but the villain in The Forgotten is canon. So uh, that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't read it yet. So, um, and they, they haven't appeared for a long time. I don't know, that's a good question. Probably, you know, you want to say like Davros and the Daleks and everything, but that's kind of mechanical, the little spears on them and everything. Uh, I, I tell you, the Scarecrows, I think would be fabulously fun to draw. Something about that whole family of blood, I think uh, would be really fun. They're really creepy to me, so I like that. <laughs> Favorite doctor? Um, you know, I'm really, really, really digging Matt Smith a lot right now. Um, even before he started, I was like, I'm going to like him. Just, I don't know, it must be the hair. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but also, I always say Tom Baker because that was my doctor. That's the doctor I grew up with, and that's the one I kind of identify with. But, uh, but you know, the thing is, too, every time a new doctor starts, it's like, oh, I love this doctor. And then the next one comes, oh, I love this doctor more. But, you know, <laughs> so I, and it might depend on what it, you know, episodes I'm watching, too. So <laughs> Well, yeah, I just finished work on uh, Doctor Who, a fairy tale. Life of Horror Shoe miniseries through IDW, and uh, I'll probably do some more issues here and there when I get an opportunity. Uh, but the next up is a creator own book that I'll probably be announcing in a couple months. My website's uh, kellyyatesart.com.